Hey everybody, Eric Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I've got a card for you featuring a new bundle from our brand new annual catalog. This is one of my favorites in the bundle, I mean in the catalog. It is the Little Monkey Bundle and these little guys are so cute. They come with a coordinating punch which will punch out, um, I always get confused because these guys are almost mirror images. So turn your punch over and you can see the tail goes that way it'll punch this one out. There's also um, a thing here for a face where you can do a different kind of monkey, which I have another project for. You'll have to check them out either on my blog or YouTube. Um, but there's also some fun little pieces and of course some adorable sayings. And we're gonna make a cute little monkey card. Okay, um, the first thing we're gonna do is our coloring. And we're gonna stamp our monkey, our hanging monkey in memento, memento black on basic white. Now he doesn't coordinate with a punch. He is just a standalone. We're gonna use our paper snips for that. But we are gonna use the banana and the banana is right here on the punch. So I wanna make sure that when I uh, stamp this down here, I'm gonna easily be able to put it in my punch like this. Well, I guess I have to open the punch. I'm going to be able to slide it in. So when you're using a punch to punch out images, you always want to kind of plan ahead, look at the placement of that piece on the punch, kind of flip it over, and that'll help you know where to put your um, image. Now I'm also going to uh, stamp two leaves in Memento, and we're going to color these with Stampin' Blends. Stampin' Blends are my favorite coloring tool. And I'm actually, pull my chair over, I have to sit down when I color. I actually am using some new colors today too. Um, for the monkey, we're gonna use pecan pie, which is an in color. And then for the leaves, we're gonna use uh, lemon lime twist and granny apple green. Lemon lime twist is a returning new color. And then for the banana, we're using daffodil delight, which is not a new color. Let's color our monkey first. For his face, I am using one of our uh, neutral, uh, I call them skin tone Stampin' Blends. I think they have a different name, but this one is 800, which is one of the lighter colors. And I'm going to color his face first. And, you know, there's, I, I've played around with these monkeys and used different colors to color the face. Um, so play around with yours and see which one you like the best. Um, this one seems to be pretty good. Let's get his ears as well. I'm gonna take my pecan pie light and I'm gonna start with my brush tip just for this larger section of his body, I'm covering a lot of ground here so the brush tip works well. And then I'm gonna switch over to the bullet tip and go along that edge like that. And I'm also gonna color in his limbs. And for these skinny limbs, the back ones aren't too bad, but for like the tail, if you push down hard, your ink's gonna go outside the line because the tail's a little bit, as almost as narrow as your, your the tip on your marker. So when, when something is narrow like that, let's do the arms too, I like to just kind of tap that color in, tap, tap, tap and that'll help you really keep the color in the lines. So we'll go around the ears and his head. And I'm gonna use my dark pecan pie here in just a second to add in some shading, but I like to do the light color first. You can also start with the dark, add the shades, shading, and then go back with the light some people do that, but this is the way that I like to do this. Let's start from light and then go to dark. All right, I'm gonna leave that open because I'm gonna come back to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of shading right here where his head is overlapping his body and maybe up one side. All right, and we'll do a little bit down here on his limbs like that. And then I'm gonna take the brush tip again on this one, and I'm gonna flick that color out like that. Okay, and we can do that here too, flick that color down. Now I'm gonna take my uh, Petal Pink Dark, 
and give him some little rosy cheeks. All right, for our leaves, I'm gonna color them in two different colors. We're gonna start with light lemon lime twist, and I'm just gonna color the whole thing like this, all the way down. And then I'll take the dark, and I'm gonna color in some of these segments so that our leaf is two-toned. Let's see, we'll do this one, and this one, this one, and that one. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with Granny Apple Green Light. Granny Apple Green, I can't tell the difference. Some of these markers, it's easy to tell with, when you look at the caps, light from dark. But Granny Apple Green is one of those that I really cannot tell. I have to look on the side for the name. All right, so light, and then we'll add in some dark. And use your bullet tip here to stay in those lines. There we go. All right, and then the bananas are really easy. I'm gonna use my bullet tip end, and I'm just gonna color it in like that. All right, let's start our fussy cutting. You're gonna want the smallest pair of scissors that you have. Our paper snips are the best. And kind of go around the outside of your image, removing as much cardstock really as you can. The less cardstock you have, the better it's gonna be. Now I'm gonna stay right on the outside of the black line. And I'm gonna slowly turn, staying right in the middle of the blade of my paper snips. These paper snips um, are sold by Stampin' Up! and they're about 10 bucks, and they are a fabulous investment. I actually have them all over my house. I have the pair in my car. <laughs> They're really good, and I always joke that they make good haircutting scissors, too, if you need to give yourself a little haircut. I'm not saying that's what they're made for, but if you're in a pickle and you need to give yourself a little trim, my paper snips are always the sharpest scissors I have. And as you can see, they get into those little nooks and crannies Try to stay right on the outside of that black line because then the eye will only see the black line and not necessarily the unsmooth cutting that you're doing. If you're like me, my cuts are never perfect. I don't think anybody's are. As long as you go slow, take your time. It's got a little piece there on his armpit. All right, now this is gonna be the trickiest part. I'm gonna start, since I am right-handed, I'm gonna start on the right side. I'm gonna go down and around. Don't cut off his leg. And let's see if we can get that piece out. There we go. Now I'm gonna go up into that tail. Now, don't get too don't spend too much time here because this is actually gonna be pretty much hidden up in the canopy that we're gonna put on our card. There we go. I'm actually gonna just leave it like that. Let's see if I can smooth this out a bit. There we go. All right, not too bad. Now the rest is really easy. The leaves, let's cut all that off leaves you're just going to go around there's no nooks and crannies in these and let's cut all this junk off and we will go around and around and around like that all right we have saved our bananas for the end and let's slide them in Get them lined up. No fussy cutting here. We've got the punch for that. And there we go. 
All right, now ahead of time, I have done some die cutting. I have cut out a stylus shaped banner and we're gonna stamp our sentiment here. Just swinging by to say hi. And this is stamped in pecan pie, our new, one of our new end colors. I have used my basic border die that looks like this. I think it's supposed to look like a cloud, but I have cut three strips of garden green to make it look like the canopy. Now you want to kind of cut them in different widths. I just took a quarter sheet of cardstock and cut one edge and then cut the other edge and then did it again on another one. Um, I didn't measure them or anything, but I would say this one is probably about an inch and a fourth, maybe two inches and maybe two and a half inches. It doesn't have to be precise, but you want to have two like this one that will not be exactly the same um, and it'll be lower is what I'm trying to say. One will um, hang lower than the other. We're gonna put these on with dimensionals. So I have a four by five and a fourth inch piece of another new color called Boho Blue. And we'll put this one right here, the edge. Now it is longer, that's okay. We're gonna trim it off. I did that just so that we could offset ours a little bit. Let's cut that off so I can see the edge here. All right, so now I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna line it up with this edge. I actually made these cards for a swap and I had so much fun making them. All right, and then last but not least, we'll do this one down here on the bottom. do this way so it looks like your little monkey is up in the trees with a blue sky back behind you back behind him I'm going to take a dimensional I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to take him his little tail remember we didn't worry too much about that because we're going to hang it up there in the trees now we're gonna put our banner over here and we're gonna cut it off. All right, so make sure it's straight. Let's see, get mine a little bit straighter. Like that. And then we've got our leaves. And I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of those. I'm using nothing but dimensionals here, aren't I? We'll use a glue dot here in a sec too. All right, I'm gonna put these kind of coming from back behind. Let's see, we need to lift that up a little bit, scooch that one down like that. All right, now we have our bananas. So let's get glue dots for them. Whenever I can use a glue dot in place of liquid glue, I always do, because I make a big mess of liquid glue. All right, our little monkey needs to be holding one. Like that. There we go. And then we'll put another one for balance right here, but you know what, actually, let's hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, please. We're gonna put a bow, and then we'll put the banana in the middle of our bow. One more glue dot. Put that right there, and then grab your banana and put that right there. How cute is that? All right, and then I've got a balmy blue card base. And again, I'm gonna stick with our dimensionals theme and we'll put a dimensional in each corner. Did I say balmy blue? Boho blue, you guys, this is boho blue. 
Balmy Blue is a new, a subtle boho blue is an in color. All right, there you go, you guys. A fun little use for your new little monkey. I've got two other videos uh, using this set, so make sure you check them out on YouTube or on my blog, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.